5G is supposed to be possibly 100 times faster than 4G, but at the base of it, some say that it's going to revolutionize how we live our daily lives. But is it really? Uh, 5G definitely matters because it impacts how we work, how we live, how we learn, and how we play. So Michael talked about the gaming, which is how we play. So the immersive experience is definitely mind-boggling. Um, how the fast speed can do, not just about downloading Netflix since you can watch more, more movies, but it's the response time. You, you can get that customer experience that you always long for as a consumer. I want that immediate feedback. By the way, real time is already too late. We need in the moment, at the instant. So that playing, right? Work, Jing Dong already mentioned, I won't belabor that. Just imagine the advanced technology can help any manufacturers to be connected with their supply chain so that the goods can come to your foot door very efficiently and you don't have to pay an arm and leg for it. What about live? You know, we mentioned about grandmas. Can, will my grandma use 5G? Hell yes. <laughs> I mean, this is the biggest consumer. By 20, no, Cisco forecast, our projection is by 2022, 70% of the world's population will be using mobile phone. That's why Sihan was mentioning this is the largest by far the consumer product, right? So we have to embrace that. So in terms of living, cars, connected homes, how many of you actually go home and use your mobile phone and, and, and then um, fire your rice cooker. Not now, but you will. Maybe tomorrow you can do that. It's, it's smart appliances is already available. Your smart refrigerator can tell you that you need a, your milk need to be replenished. All these are really everyday things that we don't pay attention, but this is what technology comes to play. And then learning, my favorite subject. Connected schools, you can actually compete with and compare your homework with different schools. You can use your learning trajectory to see how well am I doing my math tests. So all these can, are available with 5G. Probably my mother would say, why 5G matters? Because um, it's okay, I'm on WeChat with you, I can see you, I can do video calls, I can, I can talk to you, I can reach you and that's enough. But she said that when we had the 2G, and even before 2G, and uh, I think many people still remember beepers, and she could find me through that. 4G is about connectivity. 5G is about connecting the unconnected, meaning we're putting a lot of things on the network, not just devices like phones, we have a lot of sensors as well. So basically, I mean, to me, I, I feel very pumped by looking at the stats um, that there is future <laughs> for, for 5G. Um, in, in terms of the uh, urban divide, I mean, I think I agree with uh, Bowen. I think this is something that we can use for the better kind of human, betterment of hum, human, uh, mankind, Be because with technology, that's what we can do is to narrow that, that urban divide, narrow that income using and leveraging and harnessing the, the positive things about technology. So I, I'm 100% support that. 5G is the first system that is really designed to be based together with the 4G system. So it's actually utilizing the same algorithms. You can build coverage if you have low frequency bands, which is good for coverage on 4G, and then deploy 5G for peak capacity on top of that. So they're actually built to work together for for foreseeable future. The beauty of 5G at the moment, for those of you who don't know about it, it's actually not just about consumer technology, which will change how you game, gaming or watching videos or others. It is actually transformative in terms of technology, in terms of industries.